Uh, I tell us my message this morning. There is a way. Come on, tell your neighbor there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. Now, some of you are just looking at me. I'm not your neighbor. Find your neighbor. Amen. <laughs> Find your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. There is a way. There is a way. There is a way. Ephesians 3.20. And Pastor Wellington already read it, but I'm going to read it again. And it says, now to him who's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Now, a lot of you know that I have shared on the scripture many, many times, and I've used the word, the power. But when I read it again, the word that jumped out at me was expectation. According to the expectation that is at work within you. So ask your neighbor this morning, what is the level of your expectation? What's the level of your expectation? What's the level of your expectation? Amen. What are you expecting this morning? You can never get into the presence of the Lord God Almighty and not expect an encounter. Amen. We come here not just because we are Christians. We come to encounter the King of Kings. Amen. We come to be in the presence of the one who has created us. And when he has created as he knows what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the enemy comes up against us, like I know, especially in these last days, amen, he is gunning for our faith. Are we just going to roll over and play dead? Are we just going to say whatever will be, will be? Oh man, we are just so hard pressed and, you know, we don't know which way to, to, to turn or are we going to stand firm? We are going to stand firm. Amen. We are going to stand firm. And listen, the word of God says that we are the line of the tribe of Judah. Now, Judah means what? Praise. Amen. It means praise. And so we need to raise a roar of praise. The word of God also says that the enemy goes about as a roaring lion. So there's nothing that he does that is original. He is an, an imitator of everything. We know who's the real lion of the tribe. Amen. It's our king of kings. Amen. And he lives in us. So we have that roar of the lion inside of us. So when the enemy comes up against us, we roar against him with the word of God like what we did just now. Amen. And he has got to flee. That is how we resist him. Amen. And we resist him by saying that the Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Wellington, and Liesl. And if you want to add your name in there, it's good. Because I know I've been hard-pressed, but I have seen the deliverance of the Lord. Amen. He has made a way for me more times than what I can count. Amen. That was a good place for you to give him praise. Because he has made a way for you so many times. Amen. There is, shout out loud, there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. I can't tell you how many times Pastor Wellington and I have got a nose, nose. No, this can't happen. No, this can't happen. You can't have this. Doors closed in our face. No, this can't happen. But listen, when we know that God had said yes, nobody can say no. Amen. There's a song that says when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. And it's not just a nice song. When he has established it in your heart, in your spirit, and there's an agreement. Amen. Nothing can stop what God has ordained. There is a way. Amen. There is a way. There there is a way. So in life, things will happen that is going to disappoint you. You're going to come across things that you're going to wonder about. God, where are you? Father, why did this happen to me? Things, people are going to disappoint you. People that you've trusted are going to disappoint you. Things are going to come up against you and you're going to feel alone. But that's exactly what the enemy wants you to do. Amen. That is why we need to look into the word of the Lord and not look into the world that sings songs, I'm so lonely. I've got nobody. No, you got to sing songs of the, of the Lord. Amen. That my God is with me my God is for me. Amen. Because there is a way. Hallelujah. So we've had so many no's, so many no's in our lifetime. But when we know that God had said yes, family, we do not stop pushing in. We keep at it. Amen. We keep at it. It's not the first, um, you know, the, when the, the, the first hit or that the axe gives against the tree is not the one that makes it fall. As the continual beating of it. As the continual beating of it. Amen. Matthew 9, 29 in the TPT says this. Then Jesus put his hands over their eyes and said, you will have what your faith expects. You will have what your faith expects. What are you expecting? What are you trusting God for this morning? I don't care where you are. You might be living in a tin. I don't care. You might be living under a bridge. God is able to take you from there and put you up with princess in a palace. Amen. Because there is a way. There is a way. Hallelujah. 
What's the level of your expectation this morning? Amen. To believe that God is able to do the exceedingly abundantly above. You see, when a woman gets pregnant, I don't know how many of you have been pregnant before. If you can just raise your hand, then at least I'm not alone up here. Amen. You've been pregnant before. Amen. And so <laughs> some of the men are raising hands. I don't know about that. But listen, <laughs> you know, but, but, you know, when I was pregnant, you <laughs> You guys are messing up my word right here. But you see, <laughs> all the women raise up your hand, not the men, woman, amen. If you have, you were, you've been pregnant before. But you listen, but listen, there's an expectation when you are pregnant. Even somebody that, that used to drink and used to club, they don't do those things no more. They don't go to the club anymore. They go, don't drink anymore. There are certain things that they don't do anymore. When I got pregnant with my three children, my mother-in-law couldn't understand how I I would wear heels right up until the day that I give birth. But I said, listen, I'm a different type of Makoti. I'm not those ones, amen. I will wear my heels even whilst I'm giving birth. But there's certain things that you just don't do when you are pregnant, amen. Why? It's because you are expecting. Even when people see you and say, but we don't see you in the club or in the shabin anymore. We don't see you drinking anymore. What's your response to that? I am expecting, amen. So there's a change in your lifestyle because you are expecting. And when you encounter the king, amen, there's an expectation that is birthed within you, amen, that there is a way. It doesn't matter what it looks like now. There is a way. Hallelujah. There is a way. Mark 2 verses 1 to 5 says this, several days later Jesus returned to Capernaum and the news quickly spread that he was back in town. Soon there were so many people crowded inside the house to hear him that there was no more room even outside the door. There was no way in. While Jesus was preaching the word of God, you, your men arrived carrying a paralyzed man. But when they realized that they couldn't even get near him because of the crowd, they went up on top of the house and tore away the roof above. Jesus' head and when they had broken through they lowered the paralyzed man on a stretcher right down in front of him when Jesus saw the extent of their faith he said to the paralyzed man my son your sins are now forgiven and in verse 11 Jesus heals him completely there was no way in these guys traveled from far when they arrived everyone was already there crowding the doors there was no way in but listen they found a way why because there's always a way there's always a way there is is a way you it might look right now that there is no way but God is your way maker he is your promise keeper he is your light in the darkness amen don't you allow the enemy to tell you that you're not gonna make it you have already made it all you got to do is to believe it amen there is a way even tithes and offerings as a way out of your poverty it's a way out of lack amen that's a way out Luke 6 38 give and it shall be given what is the first thing you need to do us to give amen and the way will be made but I want to read for you Psalm 20 verse 20 from verses 1 to 9 and it says here um, in your in your day of danger may Yahweh answer and deliver you May the name of the God of Jacob set you safely on high. May supernatural, oh, I, I love this. Because you see, God is the God of the supernatural. You don't need no man's help. God is able to deliver you all on his own. He has got a battalion of angels ready supernaturally to help you, amen. May supernatural help be sent from his sanctuary. May he support you from Zion's fortress. May he remember every gift, every seed, every seed you have ever sown. May you remember every gift you have given him and celebrate every sacrifice of love you have shown him. Verse 4, may Yahweh give you every desire of your heart and carry out your every plan as you go to battle. It is going to take you fighting. Amen. The bird doesn't sit in his nest with his mouth open because the word says God will supply for him. No, he goes out and he gets what he needs to get. You're going to have to go out and fight the battle. Amen. And verse 5, when you succeed we will celebrate and shout for joy flags will fly will fly when victory is yours yes God will answer your prayers and we will praise him amen and verse 6 I know Yahweh gives me all that I ask for and brings victory to his 
anointed king. We are kings. We are kings and we are here to rule and reign. Amen. My deliverance cry will be heard in his holy heaven. By his mighty hand, miracles will manifest through his saving strength. Some find strength in their weapons and wisdom, but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men. Our boast is in Yahweh, our God, who makes us strong and gives us victory. Verse 8. Ooh, I love this. Or maybe we should read this together. Our enemies will not prevail they will only collapse and perish in defeat while we will rise up full of courage give victory to our king oh Yahweh the day we call on you give us your answer oh there is a way family there is a way 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 and it's Yahweh's way. God is a good God. You got to believe it to receive it. You have a choice to make this morning. Amen. Stand with me. I'm out of time. Father, I just thank you for every person under the sound of my voice, Lord. That, Father God, as they've come in here with expectation, oh God, that you meet them at the level of their expectancy, almighty God, Jesus. May, Father God, Jesus, they know your goodness, oh God. May it be done unto them according to their faith, oh God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And all those that have a time-sensitive need, oh God, may you meet them at the point of their need. In Jesus' name I pray.